You've been playing quite well. You've set them up to play in a certain way and it's been paying off up to this point. But then you take the field in the next game and things are not going to plan and you notice at the beginning of the game that you are getting battered. Well, at that point, you have to change something or you're going to pay the price. And very often, you are going to have to completely change the way that you are playing, as we did in this game we're about to see. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to FM with Old Man Phil. And if you are a brand new visitor, I'm Phil and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be continuing our look at in-game management and we've picked a game today that we had to work particularly hard for. A game that we almost had to completely change the way that we played. And we did that twice during the game. So it is quite an interesting game to look at in terms of how you have to make changes sometimes in order to get the result that you need. This is from our Journeyman Save, which we do live on YouTube on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. We do that at 8 p.m. So please come and join us because we have now in our fifth club got off to a fairly decent start. I underestimated West Ham and we lost by two goals to nil. And then we went on a particularly good run. The game we're going to see is the game that we played against Tottenham, who at that time were 19th in the table. It was a game that we should be looking at winning. We had just drawn nil-nil with Arsenal to recover from that West Ham defeat. And then we beat Manchester City at home. So we were confident that we'd set them up correctly against Tottenham and that we could get a result in this game. Newcastle, previous to my arrival, had been playing with three at the back system. I decided that we had good enough players to continue doing that. I tweaked the tactic a lot and then we uh, went and uh, lost against West Ham, but we have recovered, as you have seen. So the tactic seemed to be working. It's a Gagan press and uh, we had put a lot of pressure on Arsenal and Manchester City and we had got four points out of six, which I was not expecting to happen. We have moved up to seventh in the table now and we are on course to finish in the top half of the table as the board required possibly even challenge for the champions league who knows what is going to happen join us tuesday thursday and sunday at 8 p.m on youtube for our live streams and so we are going to look at this game that we played against Tottenham. But before we do that, if you are brand new to the channel and you like FM content and you love to see people suffer playing the game, then why not hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and then you'll be updated when we upload future content. And while you're there, hit the like button because it's likes and comments that help drive the algorithm to push the video out to people who've not yet had a chance to see our videos. Thank you all for your support. Now... Let's go and have a look at this game and see what we did in game to change the game in our favour. Let's go and kick some balls. And so we have set up in the way that we set up before. Some of the team are still getting used to the way that we're playing and we're not particularly happy. And I had no reason to suspect that Tottenham, who were 19th in the table, we should not be, we should not be losing this game, that we should win it, in fact, quite comfortably. And so we went off onto the pitch. But Tottenham clearly, right from the start, decided that they were going to run at us. And I could clearly see that they were going to run at us down the left-hand side in the main in the early early stages because that's on the right hand side is where we had our complete wing back on attack and they were trying to exploit that space they were also looking like they were running at us and trying to exploit those flanks as yet we haven't seen it but later we'll see they were playing diagonal balls trying to get behind us and immediately we are under the cosh and at this point I'm starting to think if I don't do something and here's another example of that and running at the at the defense with the ball and if we don't do something we are going to lose this game i decided to demand more from them just in case it was that they weren't giving a hundred percent at this point in time but i felt even at this early stage with just four minutes gone that something was not right that the way we were playing was not working in possession we looked okay but we were struggling for possession we were zipping the ball around at a high tempo but giving it away and so I decided there are two things that I needed to do, especially when this happened, when once again you can see that diagonal ball trying to get behind our wing backs. We had very little 
um, in terms of possession and highlights, although we were matching them for possession, but they were still coming at us. And I really knew now if I don't do something quickly, they are going to score. And so we had to make some changes. And so the first thing that I did was to slow the game down. So we lowered the passing to tempo to slightly lower and I then decided I was going to reduce the line. I was going to bring the line back so that we were sitting deeper. So they were going to struggle to get the balls behind, those deep diagonal balls or balls over the top. We wanted to try to stop them doing that. By bringing the line back, it should um, give our defenders more time to defend against that type of ball. And so we, the possession we lowered because I just wanted us to hold on to the ball to control the game, just start playing the ball around. And we started to look like we were playing a lot better. We've changed the style from the Gagan press that we were playing we're now looking much more like a control possession team, although we are still pressing them high up the pitch. And um, I noticed that their winger was causing us a little bit of a problem um, on the left, so I decided that we should tight mark him. It was a gamble because I've got this attacking wing back um, at, on that side that he's playing, but I wanted to see if by tight marking him we could actually just take him out of the game. Four key passes this early in the game is a lot. So we've now got a little bit more of the ball. We're getting more of the highlights. We are playing a little bit better, still giving the ball away too much to my liking. And so I've got to make a few more changes, I think, um, even though we look decent now we still need to do some more to control this game and um we are doing okay though we're looking like we are going to create some chances now which we didn't look like in the first part of the game and so the little tweaks that we've made have actually made a difference I do have a problem scoring goals at the moment and my strikers are not functioning properly. I've played around with the roles a little bit, but we still haven't solved that problem. We'll solve it, but it's just probably going to take a little bit bit of time but at this point we are at least getting the ball into their box by reducing the tempo and the and the, the defensive line we've done a good job there but at this point I also notice that they are also playing a very controlled possession short passing game and they they were able to ease past our press and so I kind of felt we need to do something about the press that we're playing because if the press is not working then there's very little point in doing it and so what I did at this point was to come off the counter press and now we have changed our style of play completely and we are playing a short passing controlled game and that's what I've asked them to do the Gagan press the heavy Gagan press that we played against City and Arsenal is not working so having changed it we are looking like a better team and we are controlling the game a little bit better although Tottenham are still very very dangerous I had thought about about coming into a mid block but I decided just getting bodies in the way will make us defensively stronger they haven't scored against us so I don't think that we need to be that desperate at the moment we'll continue to play high up the pitch we'll play a short passing game and see what happens and still we are creating chances but we are not getting balls on target at this time I decide um, my, my strikers can play both of the roles up top I'll try and get a little bit more movement up top so I decided to get them to switch positions that's just by the by just to try and open up space for us and so we are pretty much now coming back into the game Tottenham is still the better team but you can see from the bottom that we are gaining momentum Tottenham again though are pressing us they are looking to break us down the flanks um, but the line movement has made a really big difference and so they keep pressing but we defending well and uh, the line is holding at standard but I'm still concerned that they are creating space behind us and I'm really concerned about whether or not I should be tight marking their midfield whether I should be pulling the line back a, a, a touch again, but I decide to help us keep the ball, I will play a little bit narrower so that our short passing can now 
to give them an opportunity to connect with each other rather than to give the ball away. Shorter passing and narrower seems to work a little bit better. So we've held out, we've done well, we're coming up towards the 40-minute mark and we've done extremely well. We get a free kick on the edge of the box and Bruno buries the free kick, much against the run of play, I think. But we've made changes that have helped us to be a little bit more patient with the ball, stop giving it away and defend a lot better. And I guess FM has rewarded us for those changes that we've made. So from a free kick, we've gone a goal ahead and we are now delighted. And I'm starting to feel that we are getting a grip on the game now. We've got much more possession. We're passing it around with ease and we are a goal in front and it's a very even game at the moment, despite the fact that we're still just slightly behind on the possession stakes. I could slow the game down even more, um, but I decide that as we are ahead, there's no need to panic now. Let's just keep playing as we are. And as we reach half time, I'm very pleased, although I want to tell the team that things are going well, but they can do better. And so we send them out with that message and start the second half. And I'm not expecting things to be any more different than they are at this stage in the game. And we are still passing the ball around. We look comfortable and Tottenham are pressing us very hard. They do have a lot of pace up front. And so dropping the line has helped to cope with the pace that they have up front. And they are good dribblers and they are running at us. And uh, that defensive line adjustment has served me very well. And we are playing completely differently now to how we set the team up. We've totally come off our gig and press. We are playing a much shorter, controlled passing game. And it seemed to have paid off. We've caught them offside there and we are looking in control as we come up to the hour mark. I don't feel worried at all and I'm trying to figure out are we doing things right. I decide to come off the trigger press a little bit uh, just to help conserve energy at this point as Tottenham are still running at us at this point in the game. So we conserve a little bit of energy and we get another free kick and Bruno does it again. And so we are now 2-0 up and I think that's FM is a puzzle and we unraveled the puzzle by realising that their, our line was too high and that if we dropped the line they wouldn't be able to use their pace use their dribbling skills and they wouldn't be able to use that diagonal ball against us and so by dropping the line by trying to get more possession we've pretty much come back into the game and FM gave us two free kicks and allowed us to score from those free kicks. Tottenham are still, as you can see, trying that ball over the top, the diagonal ball, but we're defending resolutely against it now. Our defenders have extra time to control what's going on and I think the game now is in the bag. Although I'm still going to be very wary that Tottenham are going to come at us. They seem to feel that they can win this game or at least get something out of it and so they are still coming at us we have got a period here where we're in control of the game and ball into the box we still can't get the ball into our forwards but we're passing it around nicely we look the better team at this point in the game our controlled passing is winning the day we again look dangerous as we try to feed in a through ball but it comes to nothing and each highlight now seems to be going the way of Newcastle, and that makes me happy. The less highlights Tottenham have, the happier I'm going to be. We are putting them under pressure, and we look the more likely team to score at this point. It's really important, though, that you keep an eye on the game. Do not at any time assume the game is won at this stage. Two goals is not enough. And what we don't want to happen is to see them coming back into the game. And there is going to be a period where Tottenham look like they are going to score. And so we have to make another change at that point. And it's linked to the fact that Tottenham are at this stage starting to look 
physically tired and we are looking a stronger side than they are and so I'm thinking about making another change here I'm just going to delay it a little bit um, I make some substitutions to get fresh players on the pitch to really um, adjust the balance of tiredness in our favour Tottenham though are coming back into the game they are passing it around they are looking to to pass around us they seem to have overcome the fact that our line has been pushed back and they are looking very very dangerous but we're continuing to de to defend very well and we attack extremely well now with that run by the fullback i did decide make a decision at this point that if they are pushing forward now as we can see they are then they are going to leave space behind them and so i've made the decision already in my head that that I'm going to go back to what we were originally set up to do. And I will do that very shortly as Tottenham seem to be getting a grip on the game. We adjusted our game to deal with them early on, but they've now got to grips with it. So I'm going to make some more changes now and I'm going to up the tempo that we're playing. We are fitter at this point than Tottenham. And what I'm going to do is not pass into space. I'm going to continue to pass to feet. And we will go back onto the counter press and up the lines to much higher. We're going to try and play in their half now and try and get that third goal. Use our pace and dribbling skills to try and get the winning goal. And then once we get that third goal, I'll be a lot happier. So we've adjusted our play back now to what we originally set up to do because Tottenham seem to be gaining the match momentum. I want the match momentum back from them and I also want to be playing in their half. And immediately we start creating chances. And that was the story of the game for up until the end. We were creating chances. I decided at this point to make uh, one more change to help our boys. We were we had gone back to a narrow style of playing, uh, but I want to up that a notch a little bit. I want to create a little bit more space if we're playing with a higher tempo. Playing with a higher tempo is obviously more risky, but we get away with one or two things. We have got the match momentum back now, and I decide to play fairly narrow just to spread the defence out as well. And um, we are going to go back to a very positive way of playing from balanced and we're going to take the game to them now. I want to play in their half, not in our half. And so this is how we originally were set up to play and this is how we are ending the game. We won the game by changing to a controlled possession style but we are going to end the game taking the game to them as they have got tired. And we still look comfortable, we're passing the ball around and it looks very nice indeed. And then this Wonder Kids sub came on, produced a brilliant pass. And there it was, 3-0. And we had absolutely hammered them. There was some question of offside, but the goal was awarded. And so we went on to dominate the game and we won the game. We we could have scored even more, could have been 4-0 or 5-0, but the changes again that we made were based on what we were seeing, and if you do make those changes, you will get results. And so I've always said that if you watch the game as a manager and not a spectator, you can see what's happening on the field and you can make adjustments accordingly. And nine times out of ten, FM is going to reward you for those adjustments. And we recognised that they were trying to get the ball behind our wingbacks. We adjusted our defensive line accordingly. And we also made an adjustment to change the style of play from Gagan Press to a controlled passing play. That enabled us to get ahead. When Tottenham tired, we went back to how we were set up originally and saw the game out. And that is how we managed to get the result. And I think slightly against the run of play. And that's it for this video. If you are brand new to the channel, you like FM content, then hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and you'll be updated when we upload future videos. And all that remains to be said now is thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. And we'll be back with a brand new video very shortly. Don't forget to join us in the live streams at 8pm on Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday, where we play the game exactly as I played it in this video. 
So if you are brand new to the game, it might be useful for you to pop along. Come along and say hi and join the ever-growing population in the chat that we have there. Thanks for watching. All that remains to be said now is stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.